Hey, if you're a woman and you're over 60, then you have to move your body every day. Because if we don't, we tend to get really tight. We get tight in the shoulders like this, we get weak glutes, and then our body starts to hurt. So today I'm really excited to share with you four moves that you can do every single day to make your body feel amazing. I'm gonna start in a chair, okay? So the first move is called the low chair tabletop lift. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you a couple different variations too to make sure you can do it with good form. To start, turn your fingertips to the outside. That's gonna help take the pressure off the wrists, okay? Press your hands into the chair, push your heels into the ground right here, and then what you're gonna do is lift your hips off the chair and try to squeeze your glutes as you lift your hips up. Now for some people, it might look like this. That's it, that's totally fine. And for some people, it might look like this. Great, you can do this for your full range of motion. Practice this move for one minute, trying to lift your hips as high as possible and then paying close attention to your shoulders, all right? So don't let your shoulders roll like this or shrug up like this. Instead, pull them back and down, press those hands down before you even do the lift, okay? So after doing one minute of these low chair tabletop lifts, really trying to extend the hips and squeeze the glutes at the top, which by the way is gonna help improve the posture, now we go to one of the most important moves that you have to maintain as long as possible, which is simply this, a sit, to a stand, just like this. But a lot of people do this with poor form, okay? So if you find yourself, you know, putting your weight on your, your, your toes, knocking your knees together like this as you stand up and, you know, rounding your back, well then guess what? You're gonna hurt yourself and eventually you're gonna lose this pattern. We want you to be able to stand up from a chair for as long as possible. So start, turn your toes out, make sure your knees are going the same direction as your toes. Now instead of putting the weight in your toes, Put the weight mostly in your heels and then bow forward from the waist and don't let the back round forward like this, okay? So you're just thinking about bringing your belly button kind of between your thighs. Now from there, push your heels into the ground and either have your arms out front or on top of your knees for extra support and rock forward, keeping the weight on the heels. Knees go in the same direction as the toes. Back stays nice and flat and then extend the hips as we come to the top position. Practice this for a minute. Slowly coming down, inhaling as we go down, Exhaling as we go up and really focusing on those pieces of form that I just talked about. Weight on the heels, knees over toes, back nice and flat. Inhale as we go down, exhale as we go up. Now once you've done that for a minute, you can stand up. You can shake your body out a little bit, <sighs> loosen it up. Now we're gonna do some simple side bends. This one's really great for the entire body, especially stretching and strengthening the spine and opening up the shoulders. So one hand goes on the hip, the other hand comes over the top and we come to the side like this. Now something really important here is I don't want you to round your back like this or cave your body towards the ground. So we're not trying to think about how far can I bend towards the ground. Instead, we're thinking about how far can I lift my rib cage towards the sky. So as you reach over, hand goes up, rib cage goes up, hip goes out, and then we come to the other side. Hand goes up, rib cage lifts up. We wanna create length as much as possible as we're doing this motion right here. Okay, and slow and controlled, just go back and forth. On each repetition, you can try to go a little bit deeper, okay? Practice this one for a minute, then we got one more for you that's gonna really open up your chest and your shoulders. Come over to a wall, and we're gonna do a move called a wall down dog. So it looks like this. Thumbs up towards you like this. You're gonna put them on the wall. You're gonna drop your body and try to straighten your elbows as much as you can. And you're gonna try to bring your chest towards the wall, kind of while you're sticking your butt out like this, okay? And then this position, just hold, breathe. And as you exhale, try to bring the chest closer to the wall. You can just hold this stretch for another minute. You can play around with the hand position, whatever feels comfortable for you. The further your feet are away, the harder it'll be. The closer your feet are towards the wall, the easier it'll be for you. Just do these four moves every single day and it's gonna make your body feel amazing. Now, if you like these moves and you actually want a personalized at-home workout, well, all you gotta do is click the link below.